welcome back to the Dowie Talks Expert Series. My guest today is Dr. Stephen Yan of the International Wu Dao Federation in Wellington, New Zealand. Dr. Yan is a widely respected martial arts teacher with a deep background in a variety of styles, as well as being a practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine. Dr. Yan, thank you for joining me today. How are you? Good. Good. Yes. So uh, you have studied many, many different styles of martial arts and teach many different styles. Um, when did you start training and what style did you start training in? Oh, uh, I started when I was 13 years old. Yeah, purely because um, yeah, the neighbors, um, by that time, my father was a director of a factory, uh, but not, it's a little bit distance, uh, his factory from my, from our house by then. It's and uh, we have, uh, in Shanghai. So we have a big house and uh, the neighbor, they have uh, several big sons, three big sons. And at our house, um, my parents and I, me and my younger brother and uh, my older sister. So my, because my father not was not often at home and, and came back, uh, you know, once a week. So they always, you know, uh, bully us. Yeah. And but then I, I, I wanted to learn martial arts. So that's how I started. That, that was, a, a, and also because my mom, uh, told, you know, a lot of youngsters by then, and my mom liked to t uh, tell about all the classic novels in China uh, in the, uh, for the ancient martial artists. So a lot of stories, yeah, a lot of heroes and doing, you know, uh, the, all these heroes are quite uh, well known among uh, Chinese people. So I also want to be one of the, like by then, one of the heroes has a good skill of martial arts. And uh, so that's how I started when I was 13, yeah. And what was your first, the first martial arts I learned, first martial arts I learned, I learned is an uh, external Liu He Quan, external Liu He Quan, which is um, uh, Wei Jia Liu He Quan, um, was taught by uh, Master Du Bao Kun, and he was a disciple of a very famous uh, Chinese martial art <coughs> martial artist, Dong uh, Zhong uh, Yi, Tong Zhong Yi. Mm. So I started to learn from him, but he also went to Jing Wu. So I also learned the Eagle Cross from him because he learned uh, the Sun Sun uh, Eagle Cross from uh, 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 in Jing Wu school when he was young. So I learned uh, uh, that's that's how I started martial arts. Yeah. And uh, did you have an opportunity to use your martial arts against the the neighbor boys, or did they leave you alone once uh, they trained? Yeah, oh, late on because I I followed all uh, you know I studied quite hard and uh, followed quite few top masters and uh, like a uh, master Ji Jing San uh, he went to U US um, in uh, I think later seventies or early eighties yeah he, he, a lot of uh, media and um, reported him he 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 was a uh, like uh, in Shanghai before he was uh, put in jail by communist uh, China. And he was uh, like, uh, before 1949, he was the new king, the king of martial arts in Shanghai, they call him. And uh, there, there was a photo about uh, in 1950, uh, all martial artists in Shanghai uh, got uh, gathered together to, um, uh, to do a, some performance to raise some funds. And uh, he was right in front in the middle, you know, Dong Zhong Yi and Wang Ziping, they're all next to him, all the other martial art artists. But they call him as a, a, a new king before 1949. And Ru Gao, my, uh, uh, my uh, grandmaster uh, of Xin Six Harmony, uh, Xin Yi Liu He, was an older king. Yeah, so um, yeah, 
so because I learned from all this uh, this masters, I never had a chance to use it, you know, for the neighborhood or these bullies, because every time they saw me, uh, uh, you know, uh, they just uh, walked away. That's yeah, the best uh, so I never had a chance to use it. That's the best way. Um, so yeah. you you started this training. I'm, I'm guessing this was in the 1970s, mid 1970s when you started training. Is that about right, or late 1970s? Yeah, yes. What what was the martial arts environment in China like at that time? Were there a lot of people starting to train again, or was it not so much a, a popular thing? Um, by then it's uh, you know uh, China just uh, um, you, you know the Mao just passed almost just passed away just yeah. passed away yeah and uh, no longer control is that tight so and people wanting you know um to you know uh just learn something to either protect themselves or they have no um other uh leisure you know time for uh like for other because everything else is uh, is restricted so but then uh, this time, yeah, all the all the masters started came out to like uh, even like later on, Master Ma, the, Ma, uh, Ma Yueliang Tai Chi. They also by then, 1975, 76, started to, you know, to go out to teach funds and private students to teach. So same as uh, Master Du Bao Kun, he started to teach in the um, in the park. Mm. So people were eager to start training again. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. People started get to training again. So after your Shinyi Luha or your external Luha, uh, what what was your next start? When did you start training? You started training in Shingi Chuan in high school, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I started training Shingi actually as a later in my medical school first year oh. medical school. Yeah, I was doing some um, uh, other later. I I was doing other uh, external. Art, Yan Qing Quan, or, or they call it Mi Zhong Quan, yeah, which uh, is another style. And also, they have a sword called the Qing Ping Jian, yeah. And yeah, I started, I also started that. And uh, also, from Master Li Chunxing, started to uh, uh, learning um, some respiring as well as uh, uh, we call it Sui Jiao. But also um, Hong Quan, Da Hong Quan, yeah, big red fist, yeah, they call, it. yeah. So all this external, you know, I, because I'm so I was so uh, keen by then as a youngster. So I started after learned from several years, several years um, from uh, Master Du Baokun. I started to go to other because started to open the environment started to open. So I start to find other masters and uh, just go to learn at the same time. Yeah. So after and only all... when I started the Xing Yi, when I was the first year in my medical school. So you went yeah, to medical because school? Because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I school. saw a master every morning because I, I got up in the morning because we all have to live in the dormitory. And then, um, I off morning I got up to do my own training or I, I ride my a little bike, go to the park to do the training. Then I always saw a one master doing Xing Yi uh, along, you know, just outside of our, our medical school. And he was quite powerful. And I would try to have a go with him, but uh, no match. So that's why I started the Xing Yi, started getting into internal style. That was your first internal style. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, what was the extent of your training in Xing Yi? Was it the Hebei style Xing Yi? And, and how long did you train with yeah, that? Yeah, it's a, it's a Hebei style. Um, Master Ying Bao Tang. And uh, he he and uh, another master, uh, his martial arts brother called Gong Zhongqiang. Gong Zhongqiang. He, Gong Zhongxiang actually went to uh, U.S. later on uh, in his, uh, when he was very old. He went to 
uh, U.S. He he taught there. I was told. Yeah, <clears throat> I also learned some from him because they were martial brothers. You know, they were all under famous master Chu Guiting. Mm. Yeah, so it's a her base style. And um, yeah, I I I I I was quite keen into it. I did a did a uh, yeah yeah learned quite a bit. Yeah, and then I even went to uh, Zhoukou, found another old master. He uh, that's Henan. He called Zhang Henan. He he was quite old by then. He was in his uh, nearly one hundred years old. So um, yeah, I just learned few things from him as well. But then I was quite hot into, um, you know, uh, Xing Yi. And um, uh, I even wrote a book later, years later. Um, even though I no longer practice it, but uh, I, uh, I uh, still don't want to get the art lost. Um, as far as I know, I try to col collect all the theories and support them together. And I wrote a book. I, I was going to publish one by one, but uh, then I just don't have time. So I did five, the book published in, uh, in Taiwan, or the five elements, uh, for the five elements and fists, you know, different fist applications and five elements weapons, like a double handle broadsword, spear and a staff. So three different weapons in that book as well, and the lineage, history, or all, all of that. So that also got me really into the history. Yeah, I, I noticed that your your Xing Yi curriculum it had a, a lot of emphasis on weapons. There 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 are a good many weapons in there. One of them was one that I had not seen before called a, a Lin Jiao Dao, like a unicorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lin Jiao Dao. Yeah. It's That's correct. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. You, you studied Xing Yi your entire time in medical school. Were you were you studying other martial arts at that time as well? Yeah, at this, at that time, I also started uh, Wu Tai Chi, ah, yeah. and because I uh, one day, yeah, the, also in the first year, first year I um, saw advertising say, uh, Grandmaster Ma Ma Yueliang. Yeah, he was the Wustaf founder's son-in-law, and he teaching in Wan Ti Guan in uh in one of the stadium uh called Wan Ti Guan in uh, not too far away from uh, medical school. He teach a uh, sit uh never taught before openly and uh, 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 very kept very secretly. It's called a Wustaf fast form or small form. Yeah. So later on, I I. And I was told that's the one was um, uh, very original form. So I, I by then I don't believe in Tai Chi. So I just thought, oh, fast form, um, you know, I give it a go. And also I never openly taught before. And uh, so I just started to, uh, you know, join the class. Uh, by then, yeah. So then I started getting to know Master Ma, and uh, they also have another uh, area. They they uh, they they uh, the Wu Style Tai Chi Association located in the Xu Hui uh, Tennis Court. Uh, in a, just uh, there is an office there, and they also practice in the tennis court at night time. So I started to also go there and uh, to practice Tai Chi and push hands with uh, his disciples, yeah. You also studied with uh, Wu Ying Hua, right? Um, a great yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah, Wu Ying Hua. That, 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 that's uh, Mas Mas' wife and also Wu Stao founder's uh, older daughter. And uh, yeah, Wu Stao founder has uh, um, two daughters. This is the older daughter, and uh, the younger daughter was an artist. So uh, only older daughter, you know, just into uh, Tai Chi. And uh, I learned, I, I mainly learned from Master Ma, but uh, um, for... Yeah. 
double sword, straight sword. I learned from him, her. And also both she and um, Masma corrected. There's uh, six lines of straight sword, two, two men straight sword, like a two persons, how, you know, uh, come back, like, like a form. Yeah, mm, we true. call it 对打. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 对次见, yeah. So she she mainly correct uh, you know refined that and and also taught me the double one, but the rest mainly I learned from Masma, but all the other forms I learned from Shimei Ling as well. Yeah, uh, I started with Shimei Ling. I I I wrote uh, 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 an article. It's called the Journey of. Um, must must uh, uh, wushu team yeah so but then I uh, because that's also in that tennis court and so when she she used to uh, always you know often sometimes she goes overseas she went always represent a uh, as a part, as a member of Chinese martial arts delegation or Wushu team delegation, uh, went away and she asked me to look after, or she went to other part of China to do a competition. So she will ask me to look after her martial arts team or Wushu team. And uh, so I started to learn, you know, all that, because also we, uh, we invited her, the reason, uh, another reason is that, we in the, our medical school, we set up a, a martial arts, you know, university martial arts association. So we invited um, Master Ji Jing San, Master uh, uh, Wang Zhang Fei, and uh, which does Bagua, as, uh, and uh, also uh, Master Ma Ma Yue Liang, and uh, as our owner chairman. So. And uh, Ma Jiang Bao, Mas Mas Sun, and uh, Shi Mei Ling, they came to, to our university to teach. Yeah, so I learned of quite a few forms from her. But um, later on, especially from, yeah, 1990, year 1990, we invited Mas Ma to come to, to come to New Zealand, and Mas Ma and Wing Hua to live with us for six months and uh, yeah, because a lot of, I like to know why we're doing that. Yeah. You know, what's the purpose doing the, uh, you know, this move or that move, you know? Um, what is the change? What is in the compact situation? How you apply? So, but a lot of questions and, and uh, Shemeling couldn't answer me. So when Master Mark came, I, um, yeah, I asked all these questions. I was so, because it, it's it was a privilege, you know, to have them to live with us. And um, yeah, I, I grabbed that chance. I'm a, I'm a question. Yeah, I like to ask a question. Wow, I want to completely understand. Otherwise, I think you know why I waste. I want to waste time to 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 do it. You know, if it is a martial arts, if you mark. As a, uh, as a martial arts as well, then you you have to understand that part. Uh, if you just say it's only for health, then okay, that's fine. But later on I found if martial arts is a very, very important part of Tai Chi. If you understand it, your Tai Chi must be good. If you can't perform it, your Tai Chi, even the health, benefit will be limited yeah that makes sense so you you would say that you were probably one of only a few people that learned the entire wu style tai chi system would that be correct yeah th that's correct and as a matter of fact um yeah because mass ma and uh, under mass ma I, I met so many of his other disciples um, but Master Ma, um, only three 
his son, Ma Zhengbao, and uh, his adopted daughter, uh, Shi Mei Ling, and, and the maid, three of us, learned the whole complete system. And uh, so it was kind of um, lucky in, in some ways. And uh, uh, because especially the, the third sword, straight sword, and uh, Ma Zhengbao didn't learn, I, you know, I learned it from Mei Ling, and, uh, but I use, she doesn't want to teach, so I have to use a very, uh, tr uh, you know, very special uh, set of Nei Gong. It's called uh, Yi Jing Jing. Yeah, it's really, really uh, special. Um, as a true one, true uh, Yi Jing Jing, there was a lot of fake ones. Uh, there are a lot of fake ones, but this is from Master Zhu Yunfei, and then Master Xie Ying Zai, my, my master's master, he used 12 gold bricks in 1923, invited master to his house, learned it. So that passed down and then passed down to me. So I used that swap with her. Ah, I yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so, so then, yeah, but one set, Master Ma said, Master Ma all learned. It's a um, very special uh, Tai Chi Nei Gong. Uh, it's called the Tai Chi Gong. And some, you know, it was heard long in, you know, over a hundred years ago, you know, um, but a lot, few and a few people get taught. Um, and the Mas Ma learned it from the Wu Stao Fang, the Wu Jian Quan. And also his, um, uh, Wu Qian uh, nephew also landed, Zhao Su Chen landed, and uh, Mas, Mas, uh, other martial arts brothers like uh, Yu Shen, who Mas Mas sister also married him. You know, um, it, it was a quite a, 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 a precious, you know, set. Nei Gong uh, is, it has a 12 yin segment and also have a 12 yang segment. And uh, Masma one day said, oh, that Tai Chi Gong, unfortunately, they will get, because Masma was also in medical field, will get too busy and over a long time didn't practice it, then start to get blurry and uh, some, you know, lost in his memory. Yeah. And so he mentioned that. And then I paid attention to that. So I... I searched it, I found, okay, the Wu Stao founders, founder went to Hong Kong in 30s and uh, 40s, 1930s and 40s. He taught three businessmen. And, and one of the businessmen, Zheng Rongguang, he learned it. Um, his, his nephew, uh, Zheng Tianxiong, Master Zheng Tianxiong, uh, also learned from his uncle, but also from uh, learn from another um, from from master even even another generation up, uh, 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 Qi Mingxuan. So he he got both teaching. Qi Mingxuan's father Qi Gechen was master Ma, uh, 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 the Wu Stao founder, like a almost martial arts brother. <laughs> you know, so it's quite. Uh, they all learned from Song Su Ming, yeah, from that set. So it's it's a uh, quad go all the way back, and uh, so I I I I asked Masma. I said because Masma said I said oh, since your brother-in-law Yu Shen learned it, uh, he said uh, why uh, you know he didn't teach Jiang Bao Ma Jiang Bao, and uh, he said he they. Mas, oh, that's Mas Wuyinghua told me. He said they asked him to teach their son, Ma Jiangbo. But for some reason, because Mas Ma got uh, about uh, nine kids. He oh. has, he, he and uh, Mas Ma's sister, he married Mas Ma's sister. He was also one of the uh, disciples of uh, Wu Stao founder, but he hadn't got any kids. But he just refused to teach. 
<laughs> so it's lost mainly in, in mainland China. So I, I, I then I went to look for uh went to Zheng Tianxiong. Uh, he was the chairman of Hong Kong Tai Chi Association, and uh, he used Tai Chi uh, to fight in. Uh, he was the champion in Taiwan for, you know, for uh against other styles of, of martial arts. And his students, his disciples also did very well in East Asia, use uh, Tai Chi as a, for compact competition, uh, like uh, Dan Docty. I don't know whether you heard yeah. of him or not. Yeah. He, he, yeah, yeah, I met him when I was learning that. He came all the way from um, UK and to see his, to see his master. So I went to, um, yeah, Zheng Tianxiong learned that and the whole complete set. So it was good. Zheng Tianxiong's, uh, another disciple called Mai Xiangming was quite humble as well. He, he, he learned push hands from me. <laughs> yeah, they, they appreciate that. So yeah, it was, so it's a complete system. If I, I, it's, if I say it's a complete system, now Ma Jiang Bao passed away, unfortunately. And uh, uh, Mei Ling, Xi Mei Ling, yeah, she, she didn't learn this Tai Chi Gong. She didn't go to Hong Kong like me, you know? And uh, so, and uh, yeah, apart from that, she learned all the other part. But uh, I, so, you know, I, I, I want to keep the, as a culture, I want to keep it all down. So I learned the whole complete set. But uh, my purpose different from mailing is um, she's more into performance. Yeah, I like to know why we're doing it. What's the martial application? What's the chain? How it how it apply in a freestyle uh, free, free sparring situation? So every move, even weapons, open hands, I all focus on that. I think then it will be complete. So as a as a Tai Chi, as a whole, not only the whole art, theory, history, application, or whole thing can pass down. Yeah, as a, as a, as a culture, because otherwise, um, you can't regenerate. Yeah. You know, we've barely scratched the surface with the, the arts that you've studied and that you teach. But I wanted to ask, do you think that it's it, you, that type of inquisitiveness that you have about these arts, about wanting to learn the combat applications and the theory and so on and so forth, that has given you the access to this knowledge from other teachers? Because I know you studied with a variety of teachers in different styles. Do you think they just sort of saw that in your character and thought, I'll teach this person these things, even though I don't normally teach them? Because some teachers are reluctant to teach everything to some students, but it seems like you've been taught a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, for Master Ma, Wusta, all his other disciples, because he was so serious and well respected, and all his master, all his disciples don't ask questions. Yeah. Unless he spontaneously told them. But I can be a bit, little bit as an exception because I'm from New Zealand. Yeah. So um, I like to ask questions, but because he was a great master, he didn't care. You can ask all the challenging you know, questions. Even, you know, I tried, <laughs> you know, I <laughs> use a, I use wrestling, I use a, a, you know, free sparring technique. I tried, I said, Look, I said, I want to be convinced. Yeah. I told him, yeah, I, I don't want to be just a so so, you know, like I, when, by then, the reason, yeah, I started to have all the doubts is when I had pushed hands with Mailing, if I don't follow her, she couldn't do anything. I said, oh, that's not the type I want to learn, you know? So, yeah, yeah I, I want whatever I try, you know. During the push hands or free sparring, Tai Chi can apply just as a theory, as theory described. That's what I want to know. So I can, I, I wasn't rude, just I told my, my very openly, I want to know the truth. Yeah. It's my passion. I want to know the truth. I don't want 
I, 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 you know, I'm not rely on that to make a, a living or to to make a money, but I want know the art, the spirit. If we don't have this martial spirit, then the art is just a fake or it's just has a, a skeleton. Then I have internal uh, stuff. So um, then I have the spirit, you know, then I have a life. Um, so I, uh, I told him openly. Yeah, he said, okay, you can ask any questions. You know, you can try anything. That was a great opportunity, especially um, from 1992. And uh, to, uh, yeah, five years after that, um, to 96, I was uh, in China. I, 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 I went to China uh, with another New Zealand GP, uh, Dr. John Jinga. We uh, invested a, a joint venture herbal pharmaceutical company uh, in Wuxi. Then um, they told us, you don't need to come, you know, you just need to send money in. Then we got, you know, we found they were corrupted. So I end up, I have to be, you know, I have to drop my practice, uh, you know, clinic. Uh, I have to left my, all my patients here. So I went to China and uh, found them and investigated, found them corru corrupted, the uh, Chinese, the China side general manager. Then I had to be a general manager. You know, I, I had to be a general manager. I stayed there for three years, three years, whole in house, three years. And it was quite difficult because, you know, the Chinese government made it difficult. So I got nothing, a lot of time, a lot of time, you know, they tried to make it as hard as for me to perform my work, to do my job. So I just almost every, every, every second day, every week, you know, go to see Master Ma <laughs> <laughs> and Master Ma and Wing Huang. Uh, they were also, all, uh, by then they were in their, you know, late uh, Master Ma in, his nineties, uh, you know, and he he also he wanted to find someone, you know, to explain the art to. So I I I was so uh, honored every time they said, "Oh, come!" So they have because they got that kind of age, so they don't often go downstairs to have lunch. So they. In their, in, you know, in their second, uh, uh, we call it level one in New Zealand, second floor in their, uh, yeah. So they always have din uh, lunch or dinner with, uh, invite me as well to join. So I was uh, very, very honored for three years. I learned, I asked heaps of questions. Uh, 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 yeah, they all, but then he, 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 also he was king too let it all out, you know, someone can understand. So I was I was quite lucky for yeah. that state. So I lost in business, I lost a lot of money in business, but other hand, I gained a lot uh, from mas uh, from martial arts. Yeah, yeah. Well, you look productive. Quite, yeah. yeah. It's even harder to find a good student than it is to find a good teacher. So I'm sure that they were very appreciative of that as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, not only him because I think because also my I went uh, I I went to the top medical school uh, in China, uh, so a lot of masters maybe like like that background. You know, I'm not from uh, just you know uh, people that have uh, you know uh, have a good education. Uh, didn't have good ed education, like some of like my spear master, all the masters, because later, you 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 know, uh, I appreciate them, and uh, the Chinese government didn't appreciate appreciate them, even put them down. So when they see someone so keen, later, especially I I I went back as an overseas Chinese. So they just so happy to share everything with me. Yeah. So going back a little bit to your time in medical school, um, you you studied Western medicine at uh, in Shanghai, right? Yes, yes. I uh, started six years. 
uh, in Shanghai, in Shanghai, uh, now it's called Medical School of Fudan University. Yeah. Um, but but then I was crazy with martial arts. I want to know uh, the uh, pressure points, yeah, yeah. striking. That's what I was going and on. also it's called the Xie Gu Fa. How to there is a, a Xie Gu Fa. How to dislocate the joints and how to put it back in martial arts situation in combat situation. So I I I, I just uh, take all the. Uh, you know, uh, textbook from from uh, traditional Chinese martial arts uh, uh, university or college. I studied myself. At the same time, I went to uh, to mass uh, to uh, in our hospital, in our teaching hospital, Huashan and Zhongshan Teaching Hospital. We have a uh, two traditional Chinese medical uh, department. So I followed the two directors learning from them yeah so they, they they were quite happy because they they saw someone so king and from you know because in in such a combined medical uh hospital especially dominated by uh western medicine you know people always said you know is a uh, say that chinese medicine in, in as a as a as a, xiao shu, as a, as a uh, little art and Western medicine is a big art. So they were always put down, you know, and, and because it's it's not, if it's a, a Chinese traditional medical hospital, then it's a different situation because there were a small department in the Western medical uh, hospital. So when someone from medical school wanting to learn, wanting to know, you know, I got a chance to practice it as well. So I asked, then, then they were so keen to, to uh, share with me. So they, they taught me. And then, then later on, I also learned from some folk masters, uh, famous Chinese medical doctors, yeah, from Hefei as well. Master Li was quite good. Xin Six Harmony Li Zhen Si. He was also quite good with um, uh, some special uh, you know, uh, we call the um, Tuina. He, yeah. he he was quite good too. Yeah, yeah. And the Sun Ke. So I, I, uh, and the Master uh, Li Chunxing also good with uh, all, all the Sun Ke injuries. So I, I learned quite f uh, from them as well. So that's how, <laughs> you know, I started with wanting to to do the Dian Xue <laughs> to know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the Jones Xie uh, Gu Fa. Yeah, that's how it started. It's quite a, a interesting, yeah, yeah. looking back. And, and of course, you know, those those two things, medicine and martial arts, do go hand in hand. At, at some point, we all have to learn a little bit of it. But you had a, you had a good experience having access to both the Western medicine and the traditional Chinese medicine. Um, so your Xinyi Luha training, when did that begin? Um, I started with Master Ji Jing San. That, again, is a 19... Uh, when I was in the so, in 1981, because Master G went to as a, we invited him to our medical school uh, martial arts association as an owner chairman, one of the owner chairmen as well. Yeah, he taught uh, Yue Jia Si Ba. He taught me the Yue Jia Si Ba. Later on, became his disciple, and um, yeah, he was the Xin Six Harmony. But it's from Tang Wan East branch. Yeah, his master was Xu Zidong. Xu Zidong was a um, um, Manchuria person, you know, like a, in, in Qing Dynasty. The, yeah, yeah sure. but he, he, was, yeah, he was from Hubei, Manchuria. Yeah, he was good at Drunken Fist, at Immortal Drunken Fist and the Xing Yi, uh, Six Harmony. Yeah, and his teacher was from Ma Jian Zhang. Yeah, all the way back then to Tang Wan Yi. Yeah, Tang Wan Yi to Liu Wan Yi and Li Zhen. So all the way back. So I have oh, I have I, I have written down all the lineage. Yeah. So that's how I started to to uh, quite king into um uh, Xing Six Harmony. Then I I um gave up uh Xing Yi later on because I want to focus. Yeah. Xing Yi is also good, but I want to 
uh, more focus on Qing Six Harmony. And uh, yeah, so that's how I started. Then when Master Ji suddenly passed away with a stroke, and then I started to learn from his uh, master's uh, very close friend, uh, Master Li Zun Si. Yeah, Qing Six Harmony. And, and was this the same branch of Xin Yilu Ha? No, it was a, a different, okay. different branch. And uh, Master Li Zun Si is from uh, Zhou Kou, uh, Henan. In Zhou Kou, there is a little river and separated as a source and the north. And uh, that's from the source of Zhou uh, from, uh, yeah, from uh, Yuan Changqing all the way down, yeah. He, 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 um, he, he, so that's a different branch from Master Qi. So there, there are three main branches, is that correct? And you, you studied all three of them? Yeah, the, from very beginning, from very, if we say from very beginning, it's, uh, you know, the, the founder of Xin Six Harmony, Ji Longfeng, he, um, he learned a spear and the uh, Liu He spear, it's also called the Six Harmony Spear. And uh, also he learned this broadsword, yeah, Liu He broadsword. They, they don't have, a, that spear is all different, it was very different from all the others Liu He spear. Doesn't have a, a form, a set of form. And they have like a, almost like Xin, Xin Six Harmony, and they have either one or two movements. As a little group, hmm. or um, have a, at most three, uh, five to seven, you know, moment as it's a little good. group. Yeah, then if, uh, you know, you see all the spears, all the even they also call it Liu He spear. I learned quite a few uh, Liu He spear. They all have a, a it's a big form from the very beginning to the end. But this doesn't have form, just like a like a Xing Yi or like Xing Yi six, six harmony. And they don't have forms, just a, like a, a little group combination, you know, just a few moves. Two, most simple is just one move or and two moves. Uh, or longest little group is six moves, seven moves. That's, that's all. So it's, it's quite different. So he learned that in, in that sphere, there is always a saying said, what is fist? They call it Hewei Chui. He said, drop your spear at all. It's a Diu Chang Jiu You drop your spear, then you can just use your hand as an as a, as a, as a open hand art. So, I, yeah, Ji Long Feng followed that saying. He later on, he, by the, his time, you know, a lot, a lot of people found the different things. So he found that art. Then, he went back to teach. He went to back to teach um, Li Chenghu and uh, Li Chenghai. There, the very early stage uh, is called a uh, Shar Da Si, twelve big postures or whatever. They have a first six is a more soft, and, and later six movement postures are a bit harder. So. That was the one I, only me, found it. I found it. Later on, I, I found it. I was so excited I found it. I found it, that branches because that branch was the earliest uh, Jilong Feng's uh, teaching. And uh, yeah, I learned from two masters and uh, Zhang Hechen and the Zhao Zihe. So they, they also, they, they in the, all in the, um, north of Yellow River, yeah, in Henan. Um, but uh, uh, they're, this, they're in two different cities. V uh, very interesting, amazing history, yeah. So, so that's one branch. I'm lucky to um, be able to find them out. In the, in the 30s or in early last century, some, Ma uh, some Masha's book mentioned it but they never see the true picture or, or never, nobody actually really found it further. So I followed some little information. And also I, um, 
I got some help also from even he didn't know, but he 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 he, he provided me some information. Uh, a professor in Anyang uh, University, uh, Anyang uh, University, um, Ma uh, Ma Aiming, Professor Ma Aiming. He was my master's brother, uh, like a friend, but he also provided me some hint. I just hide uh, a taxi uh, because I don't have time to look, you know, one by one. I said, you just go, doesn't matter. You, uh, this several, uh, this, you know, any, uh, this week, you just, every day as my driver, you go, you know, until I found it. So I just pay you. So, uh, I was lucky. But anyway, so that's one, one, one branch. And it was in um, Jing En Zhong uh, in 1930s. He wrote a book of, about current, by then, yeah. the Chinese martial arts history, or uh, 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 stories, uh, things happen, events happen, which mentioned, you know, that uh, um, quite a few things, but he, he didn't know, but he mentioned one of the Sun Boping went to challenge Mei Zhong Tu's master, Zhang Ju. Zhang Ju, you know, Mei Zhong Tu, a lot of, uh, maybe you heard of him, and he was a Muslim master, uh, like a Lu Shun Gao, his, it was his, uh, his uh, uh, disciples, Disciple, you know, all, all that. So Mai Zhang Tu was very famous. Mai Zhang Tu's teacher was Zhang Ju, and um, and the Zhang Ju is uh, was the you know teach, Zhang Ju's teacher was Li Zhen, and uh, Li Zhen also taught Dai Longbang, Dai Xingyi, and uh, also his his son, uh, Dai Aru and Dai Da Ru, yeah, Dai Wen Xun, all that. So Zhang Qu and Dai Ari and Dai Longbang, they were same generation. Yeah. yeah. So Zhang, the Sun Boping from that branch went to challenge uh, Zhang Qu. And they fought, they, as Jin Zhong recorded uh, in, his, in, in the 30s, in his book, he said they fight equal. You know, they don't, can't win each other. They, they couldn't win each other. And then they talked about it. They suddenly said, oh, we we practice same art, <laughs> yeah. so so that's why I I, I try follow all these little informations. I traced all the way back. I found still existing, but they were really neglected by the government, and uh, though they they just uh, when I found them, they they don't even bother want to teach him. You know, they just let it die. They took the art with them to the they say to the um, graveyard. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, they were touched by me. And uh, so I, I was quite lucky and uh, learned, learned all that. And uh, so that's one branch. And uh, another branch was, um, you know, for Muslim, for yeah. Muslim, um, started with uh, Ma, Ma Shui is from Luoyang. And uh, he was, uh, when he was 13, around 12, 13, he learned from a Taoist master. It's called Henan Fu Li. It was all recorded in, in Chen village. You know, Chen Star Tai Chi village by Chen Xing. And Tang Hao, another martial, uh, martial historian, uh, Tang Hao went there in the 30s. And uh, luckily, he, 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 he copied down all some of the prefects. You know, it, 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 it record. That was the most accurate part. So he learned from this Henan Fu Li. And uh, then he started when he also, his, after seven years, his, his master asked him to practice because then in Qing Dynasty, um, they started to control all the martial artists. It's called the Xue Dits, Yong Zhen. It's all in my book. And then and then his master has to escape yeah, because someone already, you know, pay attention to him. And so, but he asked uh, Marshall, you keep on practicing for another 10 years. And uh, after 10 years, ask him to go to Shaolin Temple to have a go uh, because the, um, yeah, the, the manager was his uh, friend. So that's 
how my family went there. I, I was told all this by my master, by my Luoyang master, Ma Hongxian. He, he was very, you know, uh, like a, they, they called it Zhang Men. Zhang Men, he was the head. One generation, very clear. Ma Hongxian was also very, very clear. It's quite amazing. Um, he was clearly pointed as, as the successor. Mm. And so he, he told me a lot of things. He also told me, um, yeah, so that's how the Sun, Sun, Ma Xue Li uh, taught Sun monks because he, he, he won yeah. all the monks. And, but then he wanted to leave, but, but then the, the, you know, he was surrounded by all these monks. The, the, the chief monk said, you have to leave Sun Art here, otherwise we won't let you go. So he, Use the few moves. Yeah, he taught them some a little form. That's how the Shaolin Xing Yiba. Shaolin Xing Yiba is completely different from 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 the twelve big postures, yes. as I said before previous. So that's all in my book. They were quite convenient. they thought it was the same, but it was quite different. That was some movements mainly from yeah from uh, uh, from Bai Huajiang from Luoyang uh, branch. So I, I, I learned from my, my great master, Ma Hongxian, from Luoyang system and the weapons as well. And Ma Hongxian, I purely I want to, I want to know uh, how was the, because he was, my, uh, he, Ma Xuli taught Ma Xing, and Ma Xing, that was his uh, sister's son, you know? As, uh, so, he stayed in in uh, in Luoyang, so then gradually, you know, to Ma Mei Fu, Ma Xing to Ma Mei Fu, Ma Mei Fu, then to Ma Meng Ruo, Ma Meng Ruo, then to Jing Heian, Jing Heian, then to Ma Hongxian, who was my master. He was the, uh, yeah, all, all that lineage, and uh, yeah, he he gave me all the martial arts. Uh, sutras, you know, it's very, very secret for Luoyang, all sorts of that. Yeah, was the, I, I, I was lucky just purely by luck. I, I, call, I called the um, Muslim temple chief and Pu um, Ah Hong, uh, yeah, um, yeah, the, that priest, Muslim priest, uh, uh, who his name, uh, surname. He was very, very good. He introduced me to him, and uh, then they checked me out, and they finally agreed to. So I straight away invited him to New Zealand. He was the real master, and uh, was very lucky. Then I went back several times as well. Um, so that's another branch. Uh, once you went into that, yeah, you found so many histories. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, all, all the weapons as well. And so then for my another three, another branch, of course, is a, is a Mai Zhong Tu's style. You know, Mai Zhong Tu's style is mainly from, uh, from uh, my master, Yang, uh, you know, Yang Xiangling's, uh, Yang, Yang Xiangling's disciple Bai Wang Yi. He was my master. But I also learned uh, their Masha's brother, uh, other several brothers in Joko. I went to Joko several times. So that's my Zhong Tu's. And also Li Junsi, Master Li Junsi, also from, uh, from, from, from Joko, from my Zhong Tu's branch. And also Wang Su Wen was a uh, Rushun Gao Shanghai, uh, from Rushun Gao's disciple. Yeah, I was his uh, first disciple. At his house, my picture was the first thing there. Yeah. Also, uh, so that's why I learned. I, I learned my basically my Zhong Tu style started uh, first Tang Wan Yi style. Tang Wan Yi is a mixture of Liu Wan Yi and Li Zhen. Has has both sides. So with uh, that style, then yeah, the, in the end you found all the yeah, even there, there are some difference, but. Uh, the the, uh, the the most important part are all similar. Yeah. So I, I learned from uh, 
the 12 big postures, yeah, from the mouse, and the Luyang big postures, and Dai uh, Xing Yi, yeah, and Dai Xing Yi, I learned when I was uh, in uh, Xing Six Harmony, when I was in a, as a manager in, in China for the herbal pharmaceutical company, yeah, and uh, I I used to see in on the martial arts magazine there is a one Chao Juzi. He always wrote some articles. So I I uh, he also sell his books. So I I send some money and to buy the book. I just want to see the difference. Then then one day one guy came and uh, yeah, it's called, his name is Yan Long Chang, and he he came. He said, oh. He said, uh, um, you, you, you send some money to my Marsha's brother or buying book. So I came, you know, uh, I came this way uh, and uh, wanting to, you know, to teach you. And I said, oh, that would be great. Yeah. So that's how I started the Dai Xing Yi, Six Harmony, Xing Yi Six Harmony. But uh, he, Master Yan Long Tang, um, he was, um, you know, uh, he practiced quite hard, but uh, he he wasn't the successor. The successor was uh, his uh, his master's son, yeah. his master's son Yue Jianzi. So he didn't learn the spear and the, and uh, also called Dian Xue Jue. There is a a, a a weapon for striking the pressure points. So later on, I went to Yue Jianzi and uh, learned these two two things yeah those two things so my I, I, because i was so attracted to uh and to to uh Xing six harmony so I, I i basically i went to all this you know paid a big money and all the energy learned all this take all the all the martial sutras uh, and uh and there's a, a lot of very secret, you know, don't, they never opened to other people before. So I got all of them and um, yeah, I all invited them over to New Zealand, stay with me and practice and go, went back to, so, so Mei Zhong Tu style, as I said, uh, the Xing Six Harmony, uh, Dai Xing Yi Six Harmony, and the uh, Luoyang Xing Six Harmony and the 12 big posture, Xing Yi Six Harmony. And, uh, you know, uh, Master Ji, Tang Wan Yi, but uh, they're, they're quite, uh, you know, similar to, to that. So uh, then I can see the whole picture uh, as of oh, how it started. I see, I was the first one to point it out, you know, how Dai Xing Yi came from, because they made a lot of stories, you know, yeah. both from Xing Yi, you know, Xing Yi, not Xing Six Harmony. Uh, from Taigu, they made up heaps of stories, try to cover it. And also, um, also from Dai, because after they, they, after they were taught, uh, st st got known, they started to say they're not from, you know, they, they were not from uh, Li Zhen, from, you know, from, from, from that line. But it, it was, they actually paid quite a lot of money learned from Master Li Zhen, yeah. And uh, so their generation, and Dai Longbang himself, he, he didn't really, he wasn't that good. And his son was good, you know, he, both him and his son learned together. Same as a, another Muslim family called a Sui. Um, he was a Muslim temple, Sui Si, Sui Pu Ci, his ancestor, Sui Guan Lan, he and his son all learned with Li Zhen at the same time. So as they are very, very similar. Yeah, similar situation. So the, the Dai father and son, three father and son, they all learn from um, Li Zhen. It's, it, it, I have all the evidence, uh, so all that in my book, yeah. What is the name of that book? Um, I think I sent a link. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's uh, to clear the mist of, of Chinese martial arts history. The books um, in Mandarin, yeah. right? Mandarin only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
that, that's a fascinating detective story just by itself. That's an amazing piece of history there. Um, so when you, uh, you also study, uh, or Pai pie Kung Fu, uh, what, when yeah, you... yeah, 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 that's, that's right. Yeah. Uh, when I was in, um, in, uh, people, Shanghai people's park, I met a master Tang Jingyuan. Oh, I saw he's a fan. So he, he, he practiced a fan, you know, mm -hmm. uh, single fan, double fan, but it's a metal. All the bones, you know, the, when you open a fan, the bones in the end are sharp like a, like a straight sword. Yeah. And the, in the middle of the fan has a little um, wire, you know, very fine wire, join them together. I thought, like, oh, his movement different from like a, you know, they, like a dancing, you know, they also call it a fan martial arts, but it's just a rubbish, you know. And um, yeah, I was quite surprised. Then I started to talk to him. And uh, he was the disciple uh, of um, uh, Wang Ying, very, very famously called Monkey King in early 50s or 60s of, you know, King. And Wang Ying was learned from an Ume monk who uh, was, uh, was the chief monk in, in Shanghai, in Shanghai, in, uh, in uh, Beijing Road. It's called, uh, oh, what is the temple? It's right in the central of Shanghai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jing An Si, in the Jing An Temple. You, you, you know, so I started to learn from, from him. I learned, but I did not systematically learn, you know? I only learned the, the, um, the Rohan, Rohan fist from him and the fan from him. Yeah, 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 fan from him. You, you know, just pick a few. I found very uh, special, very special, quite different from other people's. Uh, uh, yeah, so I just learned too because they just try to, uh, to know something about it. Uh, later on, I just uh, video down and leave it. Uh, I, I no longer practice it anymore. Sometimes I teach him, sometimes I teach some students. Just like a Xing Yi, I still teach some students because I, every so often someone came to me say they learn the Xing Yi somewhere else. You know, um, they, they uh, want to continue or they want to uh, have a go. I said, okay, let's have a go. I'm quite keen, you know. Then they want to keep on going. Yeah, yeah, keep on learning. Yeah. So, so um, but uh, I, I, I no longer myself practice Xing Yi anymore. Uh, same as Bagua, I, I learned Bagua from my master Ji Jing San and, um, and Ying Bao Tang as well. Ying Bao Tang also learned, uh, you know, his Bagua from another master Wang Zhangfei. So I learned the Sun, but I used to teach, but I, I, I no longer teach that because later on, one day I saw a, a old book published in early 30s. It's called Ying Yang Ba Pan Zhang. Yeah. So I see the Ren Zichen's postures, pick photos. I said, oh my God, that's, that's, you know, that the energy, the power, the body posture, the spirit is all there. Um, and, and it was also said that that was the original. Ba Gua is derived from it later on. It's just like a Xing Yi derived from Xing Six Harmony. So I started to search for for the information, finally I found that I went in that, uh, year, year 2000, I went there and um, I, I didn't find the, the real master I w uh, to contact with. And I went there and I found a master, another master, Ren Wen Zhu. Yeah, he, um, he kind of uh, combined with some uh, other Ba Gua or, or uh, Hua Chun. And then I went to in, the, uh, in that book, in the photos, there was a, a two-man set. So I want, want to, because Lin Zicheng already passed, of course, passed away. In, he passed away in the early 60s. And, but there was, he's, he's the, the, the one had a photo with him with a two-man set. His son still alive, you know, uh, Gao Zikai, his son still alive. So I went to see him. And uh, I went to see him and he said, look, 
He said, there was only one master, real master still alive. He said, I took you there. Even my, I, he said he learned from his father, but he said his father not as good as this master. Uh, because this master keep on looking after um, the Lin Zichen until he died. You know, even during a very difficult time in China in the, after 1949. Yeah, he was a, an accountant, he keep on. He, they were in the same village, he keep on. He was, amazing, he was also um, um, Catholic. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 they're both Catholic. So that's why they're very close. And so he always looked after him. So he learned the whole thing. So I was told by God's case son. And he took me all the way to see him. Yeah, I went three, three, three times there. And finally he, he was quite touched. So I, I learned the or, very original, very, he, uh, if I say, what is more, more uh, most conservative martial art? I, I think that's the Yin Ba Pan Zhang was the most cons conservative martial art I've ever seen. Yeah. Conservative. Um, I mean, in what way? Yeah. Uh, because he, 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 they, they don't even teach outside. I see. Yeah. <laughs> and outside his, yeah, even the village, you know. And so he, he, I went there three times and, uh, so the very original three weapons, different weapons, and a long, big broad sword. You know, you, when you when you practice, you try to make your arm rest strong with a single hand. But when you use it as a double hand, and then double-headed spearhead, double spearhead. Uh, so only three original weapons. Xin Six Harmony also has a very original three only three weapons. One is the spear, Liu He spear, six harmony spear. One is the Liu He six harmony broadsword. And Dan Dao, one is the staff, eyebrow high staff. And Tai Chi also have an original only three weapons. You know, the straight sword, broadsword, as well as um, um, the, uh, the spear. Yeah. So only that, those are all the three three but uh, by talking of that um, most conservative then again there was a uh, original a immortal drunken fist and a sword that master uh, again was one of the most conservative ones because that was different later on they developed uh, quite a lot of branches but that one was the very very original yeah from he 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 was a great. He like a hermit, you know. He people only only knew him, uh, know him. He was famous with his painting, mm. but yeah, very few people know him. It was a top, you know, one of great martial artist. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, going, yeah, yeah. Going back for just a second <laughs> to the Ying Yang uh, Ba Ba Pan Zhang. How how is it different than Bagua? Uh, how how is oh, it's very very different. <clears throat> and uh, very, very different. Um, Bagua, I, I, you know, it's kind of uh, laid on a bit of water down. But this one it has a amazingly uh, structure. The body requirement, same as Xing Six Harmony, same as Tai Chi, proper Tai Chi, you know, a real Tai Chi. And uh, so it's, it is a, uh, it's different from like a Bagua, you straight away started with eight pounds, basic right. pounds. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. And this doesn't start with one posture. That posture, um, like a Tai Chi, we call it Hong Yuan Zhang, and like a Xin Six Harmony, we call it Dun Hou Shi, uh, Monkey Score. Like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so this one is called Jama Shi. You have to do, you know, basically, our, our, our the, now is different. You have to do that until it passed. Then you, you do the second one. Then, then they're all single. All yes, single. Single, uh, single. And the first, first one, two, um, in front, and uh, then the third one, and uh, started to, uh, four, fourth, only start from the fourth one is a single move, just a straight line. Yeah. And then, 
the four, uh, the the number uh, numbers. Number six, uh, number five, number six started to do the circular, but they're all single moves, just a single move. So it's a, like a gradually, gradually builds up until to number eight. Number eight is a, is a, a form, a form. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, a form. That, that form, not only just a circular move, they have a zigzag like a move, have straight line, have four corners, and uh, but a lot of circular move uh, as uh, yeah, and it, instead of palm, uh, you know, yeah. bagua both palm face down. This one palm is up, face up, like holding a dish. You know, <laughs> one palm is a, is a palm face down. So it's quite, uh, it's a very different the body and the eyes look like a drunken fist. They have a straight looking. And this San Jin Zhou is the head, the nose in line with the center line. It's not like a head, look at it there. Use the side, the eye, end of the eyebrow in line with the index finger. Mm -hmm. So, but if when straight is straight, yeah, they have a straight and, and otherwise when you're walking like that, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite amazing monkey hand or that. Yeah. so. Oh, a lot of um, body posture, they all actually uh, go back to the history. They're all from the same area, some from Dong's family. It was, was uh, the Dong's family founded uh, Tongbei and also six, the Dong's Six Harmony, Xing Yi, uh, the, the, the Six Harmony Spear, and, uh, and the Yin Yang Baopan. But uh, from the Six Harmony Xing Yi uh, Spear, uh, from Six Harmony, don't uh, that spear. He, uh, you know, uh, and his disciple developed Xing uh, Six Harmony, Jilongfeng. So it's Dong family, amazing, you know. They all, so that's why the body, because Dong himself, he, when he, his, his uncle in, founded the Tongbei, himself, they both are Taos, right? Taos. He, learned from his uncle, the Tongbei, yeah? Where the monkey skull came from, yeah. And, and um, yeah, so his uncle was great. He was the first person and um, put the theory out. In the past, Six Harmony is, a, in, the, in the history, old history, that they talk about Six Harmony, it's not internal Six, uh, you know, 内三河, 外三河. Uh, in, internal three harmony, external harmony, only started from him. In the past, in the Liu He is about all the directions of the of the earth, or six lines. So only from his uncle in Ming Dynasty, Wan Li Nianjian, he was the one, and he also founded this um, monkey skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was quite. He was a Tongbei founder. He learned from two masters. Uh, yeah, uh, Hong Quan and uh, um, uh, Bai Yufeng as uh, uh, Wu Xing, uh, Wu Quan. And then he practiced, I went there. There was a lot of monkeys, so many monkeys. I even took a photo together with the monkey. Yeah, he in the Taihang mountain. So he, then the history book recorded, he, he enlightened. So he founded Tong Bei Chen. Yeah. And then he, he he's a, family member, younger generation, also Taoist Dong Bing Chen. He, he um, learned from his uncle Tong Bing Chen, but his uncle has two friends, Marshall's friends by then. One is the six house, very famous six house spear, but that's a different spear, you know, earlier spear, master Li Jinglong. So he introduced his his uh, family, uh, Dong Bing Chen, learned spear from his friend. And, and he also friend with uh, Wang Zhongyue, which is a uh, certain soft, they call it certain soft hands Tai Chi. So, so Dong Bing Chen, that Taoist, learned from this three top mass successor. Then he invited, after practice, year by year, day by day, month by month, year by year, he invited. Then he invented his. Uh, special uh, 
Dong's uh, six harmony spear. It's different from all the form or, or, or his, uh, his masters. He used all the essence from Tai Chi, from Zhang Shenfeng's Tai Chi, from, uh, from Tong Bei, and uh, then also from, from you know, the, of course, from the spear, from Six Harmony Spear. He invented his one. So it was quite great. It was all recorded in the history. So it was quite amazing. So his, his family, then his, so that's why um, he, he taught the Chen Village. In, 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 in the book, he also taught Chen Village, the Tai Chi, it says. Yeah. But of course, Chen Zhou King also learned from his uh, same, like, um, Tao's brother, Bu Gong Dao Zhang. Uh, in the, they, they were in the same same temple. Uh, that, that were uh, it's quite a lot. So um, so Chen Village learned from there from and with the Li family because Li's family's um, daughter married a Chen very the first generation a uh, uh, first uh, Tai Chi generation. They call the ninth generation in Chen line, but first generation for Tai Chi. His his mother was from was from Li village. So they went there together with the Li brothers and uh, even their uncles learning from all this Taoist, Bukung and the uh, Dongbing Chen. So it was quite amazing history. Um, and, and, and the Dong family later on uh, invented his uh, descendants, also invented Yin Yang Ba Pan. And uh, from Yin Yang Ba Pan to the third generation, um, Dong Mengling, he taught two students. One is Dong Hai Chuan, one is Li Zhengqing. And Li Zhengqing kept the same. Dong Hai Chuan went to Beijing and uh, he, he, in the past, you know, when he was young, he learned the Ba Fan Quan. So he took the eight moves. So he made the eight basic palms. And from first, his generation, he already started change because Everyone came to learn from him, all learned some martial arts. So right. different people came. So he was quite inventive, cre uh, creative. So if you come, Bill, you come to me, you learn the martial arts. I just did uh, some change. I give it back to you. So your style. Then someone else, say Mark came. Mark learns. I give a bit of change. But eight basic palms are similar. Apart from that, the rest is all different. So from his second, his second generation already have different styles. So go. that's how it starts. I think the one of the most important reason for him of a special task went back to, to be to went to the uh, to Peking, you know, and to close to the emperor or whatever. Then he found that it wasn't kind of um, possible. So then he also had maybe as long as he didn't teach the original one, it's like not a betray right. his master. Right. So he 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 changed it, altered it. So you can't say so he's still a Ba Gua founder, but not Yin Yang Ba Pan Zhang founder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so quite a lot. Yeah, maybe oh, we have pockets. So much more to the history of it than than what is commonly available or talked about, especially in the West. So I thank you for that. That's it's amazing. Um, so we, you you moved to uh, Wellington in 1988, or you first went to Wellington in 1988. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, you got all the history. Yes. 1988. Um, the 18th, uh, uh, the 16th of August. 1988, I arrived. And so yeah. in that time, when, when you first got to Wellington, what, what was the martial arts scene there like? Was there a lot of martial arts going on there or was it not so much? Uh, not so much of uh, Chinese martial arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the only Yong Chun. Yeah, there was a Yong Chun, maybe something else. I, I didn't pay attention. I just teach mine, yeah. Mm. And so you've been there for decades now, and I know that you brought at least a dozen teachers from China there as guests to teach there. So you've obviously built up a, quite a martial arts community there. Um, how um, many students would you say you've had over the years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been teaching for many years, but uh, um, um, 
I'm not good at uh, promoting, you know, making it as a living. I, I do it as a test mm. to me as um, self-cultivation, teaching only, you know, make me from teaching you understand more. Yeah, yeah? Uh, absolutely. It's the yeah. best way to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you learn from your master, you practice yourself. Also, you, you realize or understand more about it by teaching. You know, let different students trying on you, you know, then you can make progress. I, I, I don't care whether I lose my face or not. Some masters like look, sit there like, oh, no, you can't. Uh, if you try hard, say, oh, you don't respect. You know, I, 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 I said, OK, we're all learning. Yeah, just give it a go, you know, come to try, you know. Then until then, we why I lost, why you, uh, you know, I was defeated or why I was thrown out. So you you question. I, I'm more a researcher rather than you know I, I, I saw some people very good at advertising, make it you know this class how much money. I said oh, if they want to come they come. If they don't want to come I, I you know I'm not going to pull them in or to you know if they come they they're king and so that's my attitude. Yeah. What is your teaching structure like there? Do you do you mainly uh, do you center everything around Shinyi Luha or is there, there a um, progression that you teach your students in or do you just teach people uh, what they want to learn? No, I teach, I, 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 for Xin Six Harmony in Yang Ba Pan, I teach as uh, private lessons because, um, the, you know, I don't want to easily teach it out. Yeah, basically, uh, a bit conservative. Also, the requirement is different. And you know you need a, a proper foundation before you start. So that's th that's that part. But for uh, I mainly in the, in the in the class I teach external martial arts and the style tai and the free sparring and the weapons. You generally all the uh, ching na joints locking, you know applications, you know fighting and external styles. Yeah, because that's more fun for 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 youngsters or for for them to learn, you know. But if they they became if they become more serious, then I'll introduce them. Say, hey, yeah, come maybe you know I introduce you this Jin Six Harmony or Yin Yang Ba Pan or uh, or, or proper Wu style Tai Chi. So I teach Tai Chi. I teach external style in the class. But uh, for people, like I have people from overseas or that, they came and um, so they they want to learn special styles. Then there's a, a lot of that are, are private lessons. Yeah. Do you travel and teach at all? Um, I was invited to China uh, two times to, to uh, travel and teach, but I can't stay too long because I can't leave my patients too long. And plus, my family is here. And plus, I said, look, um, you know, um, to travel to teaching is my later on after I retired. Yeah. The moment I'm not retired yet, you, you know, and also the moment the traveling to teaching doesn't make as much money to support my family as I'm working here. You, you understand? So, I, and also, I need to suffer, I would suffer from. Uh, Parting from my family members, which I don't, you know, it's it's not the right time yet. Right. So to me, to to uh, my priority, after after did all this research, all this, all record down all the mark. So I need to put this. I, I wrote six volumes, and then the publisher asked me to shrink them into three big volumes. So that's my first job. I already finished writing. I just need to put all the references, evidence, photos in, into it. So that's that, That's number one priority. Second, all the master's art, I, uh, all, I have uh, hours, hundreds of hours of master's hours, which is not available to uh, outside. I need to put, you know, put them into a digital. And then later on, is uh, available to people, you know, as, 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 
as an evidence or as a, a reference. So that's that is the more important for me to to travel to teach to make money uh, or to to spread the art. But I at the same time I'm still teaching. I, I teach Zoom lessons, Zoom lessons, and uh, people came. People ever so often, uh, and they come and stay here for a week, or then teaching the class locally just for uh, Tai Chi and for external art. Yeah, Shilu Tan Tui, all that, Luo Han Quan, all, all that type of uh, martial arts, and uh, weapons applications, Qing Ping Jian, all, all sorts of that. So um, it's already made, I, I, I'm running, you know, I, I just don't have enough time. I need to spend time with my family. Yeah. yeah very busy, man. So, so after after I retired, yes, uh, I will travel because they invited me quite a few times. Uh, several cities in China, also in UK, and uh, but I, I just don't have time at the moment. I can't leave my practice and drop everything here and just go. So, yes, uh, that's later on. So there is no hurry. No, no hurry. Plenty of things to look forward to. Um, I, I want to ask you, we're just about out of time, but a question that I've asked all my interviewees is, uh, what do you think the future of these traditional arts is? Um, I, that's very, very, I've been discussing with several uh, my martial arts brothers, even all these masters when I met them. We have two. One, there are several problems here. One is Chinese martial arts arts uh, masters or teachers, to them, the face is too important. So they don't really try with their students. I think they need, I think that's just like a, even push hands or free sparring. You need to try. It's okay. You know, you get a hit one or throw it out, doesn't matter. So we have to have that kind of it. And if you believe in that art, if you understand the art uh, essence, you should, you know, to try and to use it out. So that's very, very important to um, exchange skills, even with other styles, like karate, taekwondo, all sorts of Thai boxing, kickboxing, all that. But we also need to learn the, um, the good side, you know, like uh, from, uh, kickboxing from boxing and uh, from um, uh, like a uh, Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu, all that we have to, the good part we need to also absorb into. And then for Chinese martial arts, it's a whole system. So we, we, we can't practice if otherwise we'll waste all our lifetime busy doing it. So we need pick out after we understand it. First, you need to understand, master the skill. Then you pick up a few moves, just to practice as a compact, as a, as, as a, a self-defense or compact, and the combining, see to compare the, the whether it's, a, you know, it's better or is it, uh, whether we need to improve from other marks art systems like a boxing from uh, Muay Thai from all sorts of other other matter. So by that way, you know, oh, which which techniques you are better body move footwork. You know, uh, hand techniques or kicks is better. And their one is this. We can use that as improve our skill. So we we have to have such an open mind and put into practice, you know, um, and do the form, yeah, as a, as a culture, as a, as a, you do the form, you keep the form, but daily, for me, daily, I, I, I just, the one I feel the essence, the footwork, the body move, and several special strike uh, strategy, I practice every day. But for the forms, I only does it, maybe once a week in the weekend, you know, picking up, because with a modern technology, you can video down and you won't forget. So you just store there and then you just pick up one this week, you're doing it. And then next week, or maybe a bit probably I pick up, I have a look and then I practice again. 
So by that, but mainly focus all that essence and special few special techniques and including the body move, footwork, all sorts of that for a uh, uh, compact. And then you also should be clearly know you that's that several moves. What's the the advantage compared with other martial arts? So by that way, we we know. Uh, ourselves, we also know other martial arts. Then, for this, you know, um, how to say this go? We can we uh, if we follow that direction. I believe uh, uh, you know Chinese martial traditional martial arts will be alive again. But m more is a psychological as well. You need get into you know a free practicing with your other students or friends, martial arts friends. And if you never really put into practice yeah, psychologically, you, you, your leg doesn't listen to you, you know? Your body doesn't listen to you. You need that kind of um, psychological practice from watching the fighting from nervous to really excited, wanting to go. Yeah, that kind of overcome that part of uh, psychological um, you know, problems. Yeah. I totally agree. Well, Dr. Yan, uh, we'll put links in, uh, to your websites in, uh, in the uh, chat below. And um, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out to talk to me today. You're a credit to the martial arts and you've done a lot to promote and preserve the martial arts. And we really appreciate that. So thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Okay, can we'll you, talk uh, to you later then. Yeah, can, I, can you stick around for just a minute? Okay, yeah. Thanks.